Hey. I'm doing well. So I actually have never been to one of these where we don't have a forum. What happens? Well, just keep calling the roll. Yeah, yeah. And just keep going. Yeah. 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 I know, it's going to be tight. You know what? What? And I came, I wasn't going to make it because I had my party this morning. This morning, but I went to the doctor and Greg picked me up and got me Stand here. by. Oh, man. Go, go rest, Joe. Don't, no, don't get you too excited. Yeah, I thought it was ridiculous. My heart, my heart was good. I threw this in the trash. Five, four, three, The board will now come to order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus. Alderwoman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Alderwoman Evans. Alderman Page. Alderwoman Ingracia. Alderman Coder. Here. Alderwoman Rice. Alderman Gunther. Here. Alderman Balmer. Alderman Stevens. Here. Alderman Schweitzer. Here. Alderman Howard. Here. Alderman Green. Present. Alderman Oldenburg. Alderman Peel. Here. Alderman Todd. Here. Alderman Davis. Alderman Spencer. Alderman Boyd. Alderman Vacoro. Alderman Narayan, Alderman Cone, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, Alderwoman Boyd, Alderman Grass, President Reed. Here. Alderwoman Tyus, Alderwoman Middlebrook, Alderman Bosley, Alderwoman Evans, Alderman Page. Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderwoman Rice, Alderman Oldenburg, Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Narayan, Alderman Cone, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, Alderwoman Boyd, Alderwoman Tyus, Alderwoman Middlebrook, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Evans, Alderman Page, Alderman Ingracia, Alderman Rice, Alderman Oldenburg, Alderman Davis, Alderman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Narayan, Alderman Cone, Alderman Clark Hubbard, Alderwin, uh, I'm sorry, Alderwoman Boyd.
Mr. Clerk. Alderwoman Tyus, Alderwoman Middlebrook, Alderman Bosley, Alderwoman Evans, Alderman Page, Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderwoman Rice, Alderman Oldenburg, Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Narayan, Alderman Cone, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, Alderwoman Boyd. 14 present, quorum is still not established. All right. All right. Madam Clerk, wait a couple more minutes. I know some people are being held up in the hallway, but. Uh, Alderwoman Tyus, Alderwoman Middlebrook, Alderman Bosley, Alderman Page, Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderwoman Rice, no, right. Alderman Oldenburg, Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Narayan. Alderman Cone, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, 15 present, you have quorum. Quorum being, quorum being present, we will be led today in prayer by Pastor John Watson from Maple Temple. Those that have joined us in prayer, I'll quote from the Holy Scriptures. Let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, we first are thankful for the progress we made as a city. You've given us resources and leadership. Yet we keep constant prayer before you for the family members in this community who have lost loved ones through violence. You have brought our destinies together as a community that we would meet and build our lives together. Touch our hearts that we may live according to your will and be open to the leading of your gracious spirit. As we continue to progress toward a better future, remove from our minds all bitterness, all fear and mistrust for one another. As we depart from all that divides us, allow your grace to impart to us a united purpose of spirit, knowing that being one with you, we may be one with another. Today, may our spirit be of calmness. May our security be of the security of goodness. May our strength be the strength of humility, where each may live for all and all may care for each. Amen. Give Pastor John Watson a big round of applause. Thank him for opening us up in prayer today. We'll dispense with line item three, introduction of Ronald Gus Alderman from the 23rd. Yes, I'd like to have as my special guest, my good friend Greg Meyer, and also our past clerk, Dave Sweeney. All right. All the one from the 14th. Good morning, colleagues. And uh, Mr. President, I'd like to have as my special guest, Kelly McGowan from Evolve. 
and Demetrius Al Alfred from Firefighters Local 73, who are, they are housed in the beautiful Bevo District of the 14th Ward. Thank you. All right, welcome. Alderman from the 9th. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I'd like to have my special guest today, uh, the 9th Ward Democratic Committee woman, Ms. Inez Bordeaux, and all the members of Action up there in the gallery. Welcome. All right, welcome. All the one from the fourth. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to have as my special guest, Kelly McGowan, uh, and also Kevin Bailey. And it was one more, and I can't, Demetrius. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, welcome now. Any further introductions, any further introductions? Any further introductions? Alderman from the tenth would like to wrap us up. All right, thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. We're gathered here on May 20th. This is National Pizza Party Day. So find a place with a good pizza and enjoy yourself. On this day, the first speeding ticket was ever given out in New York City. The driver was going 13 miles an hour, one mile an hour over the posted 12 mile an hour speed limit. I long for those days. But more importantly, on this day in 1946, the alderman from the 23rd, his favorite person in the world was born. It is Cher's birthday. I'm surprised you're here. Thank you. <laughs> Excellent. Approval of the minutes. Approval of the minutes dated May 13th, 2022. Alderman from the 10th, you recognize on approval of the minutes. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move for approval of the minutes from May 13th. 2022. Moved by the one from the 10th, second by the one from the 4th and the 14th. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Report of city officials. Report of city officials can be found in A, B, and C of the agenda and has been placed in the alderman's mailboxes. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment and reappointment to the Waterman Lake Special Business District. The appointment of Ms. Peter Tarby, the, appoint, the appointment of Ms. I'm sorry, of Loveless, the reappointment of Mr. Eric Weber. I re respectfully request your approval of the appointment. Sincerely, Tashara O. Jones, Mayor. Alderman from the 28th, you recognize on the mayor's appointment to the Waterman Lake Special Business District. Um, members of the board, I would respectfully request that we adopt the mayor's. Uh, Mr. Peter Talby, Ms. Deborah Loveless, and Mr. Eric Weber to the Waterman Lake SPD. It's been moved by the Alderman from the 28th and attain a second on that motion. Seconded by the Alderman from the 13th and the Alderman from the 23rd. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Dear members of the board, I have the pleasure to submit the following individuals for appointment and reappointment to the DeBolivar Special Business District. The appointment of Ms. Stephanie Brown, the reappointment of Mr. Charles Wilkes. I, respect, I respectfully request your approval of the appointment. Sincerely, to Shara O. Jones, Mayor. Alderman from the 7th, you recognize to the mayor's appointment to the DeBolivar Place Special Business District. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move to approve the mayor's appointment to the DeBolivar Place SPD. Moved by the from the 7th, seconded by the from the 23rd. Any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. That's the extent of report of city officials. We dispense with line item 7. Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? Would anyone like to take any bills off of any of our informal calendars? We would dispense with line items eight through 10, first reading of board bills. Board Bill 30, sponsored by Alderman Cohn, an ordinance recommended and approved by the oh. Airport Commission and the Board of Estimate and Apportionment, providing for the transfer of $1 million that the City of St. Louis intends to transfer from the Airport Development Fund through the Airport Contingency Fund into the Airport Revenue Fund in order to fund the Airport's Air Service Initiative Program for fiscal year 2021 through 2024, which total estimate costs may not exceed $3.4 million, providing for supplemental transfers containing a severability clause and containing an emergency clause. Board Bill 31, sponsored by Alderwoman Middlebrook, an ordinance recommended by the Planning Commission on May 11, 2022, to change the zoning of property as indicated 
on the district map from the K unrestrict, unrestricted district to the J industrial district and city block 3444, 601 through 605 Athlon Avenue, so as to include the described parcel of land in city block 3444 and contain an emergency clause. Board Bill 32, sponsored by Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, pursuant to ordinance number 70333, as amended by ordinance number 71394, an ordinance directing the director of streets to install speed humps to calm the floor of traffic on the 5800 block of Clemens Avenue between the intersection of Clemens Avenue and Goodfellow Boulevard and Clemens Avenue and Hampton Avenue and on the 5500 block of Cates Avenue between the intersection of Cates Avenue and Bell Avenue and Cates Avenue and Clara Avenue. Board Bill 33, sponsored by Alderwoman Schweitzer, pursuant to ordinance number 70333, as amended by ordinance number 71394, and ordinance directing the director of streets to inst install yes, speed humps yes. to calm the flow of traffic on the 4000 block of Eichelberger Street. That's the extent of first reading of board bills. Refe reference to committee. To the Transportation and Commerce Committee, Board Bill 30. To HUD's Committee, Board Bill 31. To Streets Committee, Board Bill 32 and 33. That's the extent of reference to committee. Uh, second reading. We have none. We dispense with line item 14 and 15. All the one from the 13th. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Having voted on the prevailing side, I move to place Board Bill 10 on the perfection calendar. I, I, move, I move to reconsider the vote. Move to reconsider the vote. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's been moved by all the one from the 13th. Uh, seconded by all the one from the 7th that we move to reconsider the vote for Board Bill number 10 on the third reading calendar, third reading consent calendar to move it back to the regular perfection calendar. Any discussion? It's been moved and seconded. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderwoman Tyus, Alderwoman Middlebrook, Alderman Bosley, Alderwoman Evans, Alderman Page, Alderwoman Negracia, Alderman Coulter, Alderwoman Rice, Alderman Gunther, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Stevens, Alderwoman Schweitzer, Alderwoman Howard, Alderwoman Green, Alderman Odenberg, Alderwoman Peel, Alderman Todd, Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vacoro, Alderman Narayan, Alderman Cohn, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard, Alderwoman Boyd, Alderman Gross, President Reed. Aye. Alderman Tyus. Alderman Ald Alderman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Ingracia. Alderman Rice. Alderman Vollmer. Alderman Odenberg. Alderman Davis. Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Cone, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard. Seventeen I votes. By vote, you stay in the motion on all the one from the thirteenth and move to reconsider the vote uh, for board bill number ten. Madam Clerk, please place board bill number ten from uh, remove it from the third reading consent calendar and place it on the regular perfection calendar. So noted. Board bills for perfection. Board bill 10, sponsored by Alderwoman Schweitzer, an ordinance establishing the Holly Hill Special Business District pursuant to section 71.790 through 71.808 of the revised statutes of Missouri and setting its boundaries tax rate, initial rate of levy subject to the approval of the qualified voters and uses to which tax revenue may be put, creating a board of commissioners and containing a severability, effectiveness, and an emergency clause. All the one from the 10th, you're now recognized to move for the perfection of board bill number 10. 
I move for the perfection of board bill number 10. It's been moved by the alderman from the 13th, seconded by the alderman from the 27th and the 4th. All the one from the 13th, please proceed. Thank you so much. I really appreciate everyone's time on this. Uh, I have to make a quick amendment to board bill 10, page four, line seven. Uh, and all of you should have this on your desk. This amendment changes the section regarding the board of the special business to what follows to be in line with uh, state statute. So just cleaning up the bill a little bit. Again, really appreciate your time. All right, would you like to make the motion to adopt amendment number one to board, board bill 10? Thank you so much. I would I make the motion to amend for, um, to adopt, amend board bill 10 with amendment number, number one. one. Yeah, perfect. Right. <laughs> it's been moved by the one from the 13th, seconded by the... <laughs> All right, the all of them from the, from the 12th. There's been, a, there's been a request for previous role and no objection, motion carries. Now what's before us is the, the amended board bill number 10. Any discussion on the amended board bill? Alderman from the seventh. Yep. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. Will the alderwoman from the uh, 13th yield for questions? Alderman from the 13th, we yield the question to the alderman, alderman from the seventh. Thank you, and I, I missed, I was not at the committee hearing on this. Uh, alderwoman, could you just sort of tell us a little bit about uh, what this is, what, what Board Bill 33 does, I'm sorry, not Board Bill 33, Board Bill 10, what it does, what you're hoping to accomplish with this uh, SBD? Thank you so much. Thank you for that question. Uh, so this SBD came out of a community effort in the Holly Hills neighborhood with a group of neighbors who wanted to have more dedicated funds for a few different categories in the neighborhood, including uh, beautification, infrastructure, and safety and security all spent split 30% with 10% for administration. So a number of people in my community came to me with the petition to do this. Uh, they followed the process to uh, get the SBD on their end. So my role was, as alder person was to help them get it on the ballot. So what this bill does is that it places the Special Business District of Holly Hills on the ballot for the people in that district. It would go on the ballot. Um, I think they're hoping for August 2nd, uh, so that's, that's what's going to happen here. And it does take a majority of people within the district to pass it in order for it to go into effect. Thank you. Um, and I heard you said 30% for safety, 30% beautification, 10% admin. I missed the other thing. What was the third thing? Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Okay. Uh, and Alderwoman, um, do you know estimated uh, annual revenues that the, SID, or the SPD will throw off? 400,000. 400 k Okay, and you mentioned safety. Uh, do you know what the, uh, if, assuming this passes by the voters, what they have in mind for those safety funds? That would be decided by the board of, pe of, of people on the special business district. There is a neighborhood program in the 13th ward, which is uh, beat officers walking a beat in Holly Hills. That's been something that's been recommended. One of the things that we've also talked about is honeysuckle removal in Crondelet Park. It's very hard to see through some of our valleys and dips in, in Crondelet Park, and honeysuckle removal would make the park a lot safer. Um, Crondelet Park is included within the district. There's also a uh, desire for appropriate lighting that lights, say, the paths in the park uh, while not interrupting the overall um, creation of light pollution. And you mentioned beat officers. Would those be secondary police officers? Yes. Okay, and those are, that's something this, the SPD is interested in funding? That is something that came, was something that came up on the survey that neighbors did, and, yes. And so the, those secondary officers would provide additional police resources in your neighborhoods, is that right? Yes, walking officers, yes. Okay, thank you. I'm really happy you're doing this. I think this is a great idea. I know I've got a, an SPD and a SID in Soulard, and, uh, and they've, they've really been helpful uh, with some of the crime issues we've had in the neighborhood, so good luck. Thank you. All right. Any further discussion? Any further discussion? It's been moved and second. Oh, alderman from the 13th, do you have any close? Yes, thank you so much. And I do appreciate the questions of the alderman from the 7th. They're really good ones. Uh, I think that it's really important to see the, the separation of expenditures that the neighbors have come up with. 30% beautification, 30% infrastructure, 30% safety and security, 10% administration looks a lot different than 70% security, 10% beautification, 10% infrastructure, and 10% administration. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing what 
can be done uh, really thoughtfully by a group of neighbors. If this does pass in August, uh, we have a lot of people in the neighborhood who care deeply about Holly Hills and want to make sure that it is a neighborhood that is well maintained and has as much resources for the community who've been working so hard over the years to to make it the neighborhood that it is. Thank you. All right, thank you, all the women. It's been moved by all the women from 13th, second and by all the women from 27th and the fourth that we perfect board bill number 10. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Board bill 10 as amended. All in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. By your vote, you have perfected board bill number 10 as amended. Madam Clerk. That's the extent of board bills for perfection. Third reading consent. Board bill number five. Alderman from the 10th, you recognize on the motion for the third reading consent calendar. There you go, that's you. There's a horse in here. Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move that we adopt the perfection consent calendar. Moved by all of them from 10th, entertain a second by all of them from 27th, and all of them from the 4th. Any discussion? It's been moved and seconded that we adopt our third reading consent calendar. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Alderman Matthias. Alderman Middlebrook. Alderman Bosley. Alderman Evans. Alderman Page, Alderman Ingracia, Alderman Coder, Alderman Rice, Alderman Gunther, Alderman Vollmer, Alderman Stevens, Alderman Schweitzer, Alderman Howard, Alderman Green, Alderman Oldenburg, Alderman Peel. Alderman Ty, Alderman Davis, Alderman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Vacoro, Alderman Narayan, Alderman Cone, Alderman Clark Hubbard, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Grass, President Reed, Aye. Alderman Tyus, Alderman Middlebrook, Alderwoman Ingracia, Alderwoman Rice, Alderman Oldenburg, Alderwoman Davis, Alderwoman Spencer, Alderman Boyd, Alderman Cone, Alderwoman Clark Hubbard. 17 aye votes. By your vote, you sustain the motion of all of the aldermen from the 10th and 3rd read and finally passed the aforementioned bills. Third reading report of engrossments. Board Bill 5. All other business being suspended, the President shall in open session affix his signature here to the end that these may become law. Alderman from the 10th, 
Do you recognize on the motion for the courtesy resolutions, Calvin? Thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. I move that we adopt the courtesy resolutions calendar. Moved by all from the 10th, entertain a second on that motion. Second by all from the 7th, and all from the 12th. <laughs> oh, and all of from the third. Um, any discussion? All in favor? Any discussion? All in favor? Signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed. Motion carries. First reading the resolutions. Resolution twenty-eight, sponsored by Alderwoman Howard. Bevo SID proposed annual budget. All the one from the 14th, we recognize on the first reading of Resolution 28. Uh, Mr. President and esteemed colleagues, I'd like to have unanimous consent to pass Resolution Number 28, the Bevo Community Improvement District budget, out. Thank you. Hearing no objection, please proceed, all the woman. This budget has been turned in uh, and, and reviewed and everything seems to be in order and for them to proceed i would would appreciate that we have the unanimous consent and the bevo community improvement district can move forward all right would you like to make the move uh, make a motion to i adopt, would like to make a motion to, to adopt uh, resolution adopt resolution number 20, 28. it's been moved by all all one from the 14th and seconded by all them from the 10th any discussion moved and seconded that we adopt resolution number 28 all in favor signify by saying aye Pose. Motion carries. That's the extent of first reading resolution. Second reading. We have none. This is the unfinished business. We have none. Announcements. Monday, May 23rd, 2022, Ways and Means will have a meet at 9 a.m. via webinar. Tuesday, May 24th, 2022, Ways and Means will have a meet at 9 a.m. via webinar. Wednesday, May 25th, 2022, Ways and Means will have a meet at 9 a.m. via webinar. Education and Youth Matters will have a meet at 1 p.m. via webinar. Thursday, May 26th, full board meeting, 10 a.m. To be determined. Uh, yeah, to be determined, and I'll speak to that. So. Friday, I'm sorry, Friday, May 27th, we're closed due to Memorial Holiday. That's the extent of the announcement. All right, any, any further announcements? Any further announcements? Any further announcements? All the one from the 27th. You hear me? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, I just want to speak on behalf of Annie Ballone. I want to thank the city of St. Louis that came out in groves. They didn't come out in numbers. They came out in groves. And so it reminded me when I was a little girl and used to watch Annie Ballone go down Kennerly Avenue to Tandy for the competition. So I want to thank St. Louis personally and let everybody know that uh, we still getting calls congratulating Annie Malone about the good work that was done in regards to parades. So thank you, St. Louis. All right. <laughs> any, any further announcements? Any further announcements? Uh, before we move on to the last uh, two items and adjourn, um, we're going to look at next week's uh, full board meeting. We may uh, have that meeting. Uh, virtual, we may have it online. As you can see, um, you know, we're missing quite a few members today. Um, and we did have uh, notification of someone who, who uh, at, you know, from our last meeting who ended up with COVID. So uh, we probably are looking to have that next meeting next week. Uh, virtual. So we would just want to make sure everybody's safe and that um, uh, you have an opportunity to just take care of your health. So we will let you know. We'll be talking to the clerk and we'll let you know about that, what will happen next week on that. Alderman from 10th, you recognize on the motion to excuse. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move to excuse the following other persons for necessary absence. We have the first ward, the second ward, the sixth ward, the eighth ward, the 16th, the 19th, the 20th, the 22nd, the 25th, and bringing up the rear, the 26th ward. All right, it's been moved by all of them from the 10th. They're entertaining a second on that motion. 
Is that the? Okay, I couldn't make that down. Second and bottom home from the third and all, and all, and all the home from the 27th. Uh, any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Um, and also, it, the other challenge that the clerk has noted in these chambers is that we have zero ventilation uh, and no AC or anything. So with the zero ventilation, it's just a ripe area for, you know, COVID to continue to move. We have the one fan in the corner that probably is doing more harm than good. All, <laughs> all of them from 10th, you recognize on the motion to adjourn. Thank you, Mr. President. Members of the board, I move that we adjourn to Thursday, May 26, 2022, 10 a.m. with the site to be determined. All right, it's been moved by all of from 10th. Entertain a second on that motion, seconded by all of them from the 4th. All in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We stand adjourned. Thank you all.